Hello, konnichiwa. Tonight I am going to make buri daikon. Buri is this. It's a big fish. Yellowtail. Buri. Winter buri. Uh, luckily, I was able to get one big head yesterday and I chopped up and cleaned and removed the uh, gill and uh, I froze the other one because I'll be offering a special cooking class to this uh, businessman, three of them in town on Monday. So, uh, and then I, I saved some for me to show you how to make buri daiko. Uh, bring the water to a boil, 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 boil. And then just uh, put the fish in. It's boiling, it's boiling, yes, yes. One, two, three, four, five. Under toi cut sank. That's it. You're not cooking them, you're not cooking them. And dunk it into cold water. Here. Just, uh, you know, five seconds and dunk it into uh, in a sieve. Drain the hot water, and then this is the uh, the cold water. I have cold water. Just put it in, and then just uh, stop cooking because you don't want to cook it. Because I want to cook the fish head with the daikon, white radish. Oh, still hot. Just clean. They're pretty clean. I, I washed it the other day. Oh no, yesterday. Yeah, yeah, nice and clean. Not much to do. Yeah, perfect, perfect. See, no blood, no blood whatsoever. No scale whatsoever. Mm, there may be a little one here. Yeah, there's a little one there. It's like a shaving, it's like a shaving. You know? Here, here. <laughs> Yeah. This is a good uh, this is a good tool. Bamboo. Bamboo. It is called sasara. Bamboo. I bought it. I bought it in uh, um the weather uh, in a famous town in Tokyo where they have everything you need in cooking. Chinese, Japanese, French, whatever. Kapabash! Yeah, that's the name. Kapabash. Haven't been to Tokyo for almost two years now, so <laughs> keep forgetting the names you know, of these places. Famous place, Kapabash. I bought, I bought three different kinds: the big ones for tuna, tuna, and big kingfish. This, this is, this is a small. One. This is the tiny, the smallest one. So I wash, drain, put it in a big, big nabe. Cut in, tear. See this rough? The reason I cut this way is that, uh, see, I tear it so it's so rough and it's, uh, when it's cooked, daikon is tender, soft, it'll, it'll start Soaking up the the broth as you cook, you put the uh, water and sake and uh, skim and ginger and season with sugar and uh, soy sauce. And as the broth thickens, it, it's it's going to be very very beautiful. So the broth, the idea is cooking the fish with the daikon is to it's like a sponge when it's cooked. Right? So, the so daikon is going to be very, very tasty. I love daikon. Love daikon in winter. And my, this is the big daikon my friend grows. He grows very nice vegetables. See? So, I just uh, fill up with water. 
yeah, just add water. Just add water and uh, sake. Oh, this is my drinking sake. Yeah, I will, I will drink it, not for cooking. I'll use a little bit less, less expensive. <laughs> less expensive. I bought from a supermarket. Mm, as much as you like. Maybe about half a cup I put it in. The more sake you put in, it's going to be tastier. Okay. Uh, so daikon is just sticking out of the water. It doesn't matter. Because I have a, I have a good cooking utensil. Drop in wood. A lid, lid, drop in lid. This. This goes in and sits directly on top of the ingredients. But before you put that, you need to wet this. Otherwise, you know, wet this. Just soak it in the water so it just the water she shields the surface and the, uh, the broth. And the sugar and the soy sauce we are going to add is not going to be soaked by the dropping wood uh, dropping lid okay just so it soak it there for a while mm. yeah just i'm just soaking it see the running water see, see you can see yep good this is good huh? this is good stuff only 290 yen less than three dollars oh i like the daikon look at the size of this daikon it's so heavy it's almost about three kilograms oh, heavy and juicy i feel the water mm. 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 oh my oh my heavy heavy uh whilst uh we're waiting for the uh this to heat up uh we can do uh what we can do here no we cannot see just change keep changing the position so you will get to see what I am doing. I'm gonna put the uh, the lid, lid, see? Lid, put the lid on. See the boy, just move away. Oh, ginger. It's been cleaned. Uh, with the skin, yeah, with the skin. Skin is free. Just chop it into julienne. Chop it into julienne. Also, we have big yuzu I bought yesterday. So, I'm going to peel the zest. Only the zest. Love Yuzu. I bought two, two big ones, and I put one in the hot bathtub yesterday. Yuzu Onsen, hot spring. No, we don't have a natural hot spring here. I'm just a home bath, <laughs> filled up with hot water. But, this, but the fragrance of yuzu is so soothing. I love it. So relaxing. It relieves all the uh, tension. No, I don't have much. I don't have much tension. Yeah. It's, it's boiling now. It's boiling now. Can you see? No, I can't. Get closer. Mm. <laughs> it's like a neck. It's like a snake. It's like a snake. This is the. It's. It's. This uh, iPhone folder is the. Uh, it's like a. It's like a. It's like a snail. Yeah. It's like a. Mm, it's a coil. It's a coil. So you can just. Uh, Bom, 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 bom. It's a bomb, 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 bomb. Stop, 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 stop. Sorry about that. 
then you can just uh, you can just tilt. That's good. I like it. Only three hundred yen. I said that five times already. <laughs> See, uh, so this is good uh, drop-in wood. So there is steam, and this, it keeps cooking. And uh, there is a room in between the uh, saucepan and the drop-in lid. So there's plenty of room so, so, so that the, it just, uh, this is one, this is a good way to thicken the sauce, uh, thicken the broth. And eventually uh, you will cook until the broth is almost gone. Yeah, this is it. So, you can do something else. Uh, if there is any froth, there's not much froth. This means I washed it very well and I, uh, so there's not much froth, yeah? Hardly any, hardly any froth. Froth is just, uh, you know, it's yucky things, but uh, I've, uh, because we, we bought, we, we put the chopped fish head into the boiling water for five seconds and then, and then uh, drain it in the sick with the sieve and then dunk it into cold water, cold running water, so it's all clean, clean, not bad, nothing. This is good. That's good. So whilst this is good, oh, I can. So I put this. I put this on. I, I put this back on because it's sticking in the. So some dag on and uh, some he fish head too big. It's just sticking out. But as you place the uh, drop in lid wood, it just uh, it keeps you know with the steam steam effect. It cooks. You know, steam is uh, hotter than one hundred degrees. You know, boiling water is one hundred degrees, and the steam is much hotter. So you need to be very careful. Huh? Uh, you, can, you can you can easily burn. Uh, be careful. So whilst we whilst we are cooking, we can uh, chop up some. Uh, yuzu, yuzu, my favorite yuzu. So I'm, I'm going to cook a normal dish, which is the uh, which is actually uh, all vegetarian food. Uh, this is uh, this is garland chrysanthemum, garland chrysanthemum. Shungik, uh, I grow in my organic veggie garden, and this is I bought deep fried, deep fried tofu, mashed. And it's got some seaweed, it's got uh, carrot, chopped up. You can buy it. You could make it. In my in my Zen cooking class, we make these from scratch. But now there's no uh, I don't offer uh, I don't offer cooking classes since uh, April last year. Yeah, due to the pandemic. I've just had, uh, I've just offered uh, soba noodle lessons the first time in the last two years. Okay, anyway, this is what I'm cooking. So this, and the green, and the shiitake mushroom. And uh, also good, as I said, as I mentioned, these white radish, white radish here, and white turnips, winter veggies, are here for us. You know, it's been grown hundreds of years, I guess, for us to strengthen our immunity. So this is all good. Yeah, just, uh, just cut it into wedges and um, peel the skin. The skin is quite fibery. So I have to uh, peel it quite thick. It just gets in between your thin uh, tear, uh, teeth. We even express, describe this fiber. It's like a bone, just gets in your teeth. 
it's a nuisance. So we have to very peel it very thin. What a waste. I have uh, porridge every morning in winter time, in a cold uh, autumn morning. That way I can just ch -ch 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 I can cut the uh, the fibers. And then I can eat. Maybe I have a veggie garden, so they will I'll put it in the compost. I can make compost. Yeah, it's such a waste, you know. Okay, all these ingredients. Tofu, uh, gummo. This is called gummo. Re and uh, shiitake. Just remove the uh, stem. Stem is a bit too hard to eat. See? That's it. And uh, this is uh, this is actually sojin yori, zen cooking. No, no animal, no animal protein. I soaked overnight in water, kombu, and sun-dried shiitake. And that this is now stock, beautiful vegetarian stock for this particular dish. Normally when I cook uh, these uh, ready-made uh, gummo, or even when I make them myself from scratch, I'll, uh, I'll just uh, put uh, just hot, hot water in, just to remove excess uh, oil you know, that they use to deep fry, and then keep hot, hot, hot. Just, just to remove, just remove the excess vegetable oil that they use. See? Again, normally I I pre-boil the um, the these uh, white turnips but this is my last day I, I mean tomorrow is my day off so this is to me like a friday evening which is sunday evening today so i'm not you know, i don't I'm just no bother to boil put ball just just chuck them all in and spoil right okay. okay. just make yeah, change my mind you know larger saucepan so that this a little uh, drop in drop in lid. This is what I call drop in lid. So it goes drop in and sits directly. Not quite. I need a smaller drop in lid, but it doesn't matter. Just daikon fish smells good. Uh, the green, the top part, you can also, of course, you can eat it. I'll eat it tomorrow. For my miso soup, just anything. This is my compost, the veggie garden, all the nutrients. So I keep this uh, uh, vegetarian stock in my fridge. I'll, uh, I'll use it some other to make some other cook dishes i love i love so much the uh yuzu so much so obsessed maybe you know this this kind of thing is very seasonal seasonal you can only have them in winter time These two dishes, I must have this. Yuzu. Really, really nice. Really good. So these 
these are now all cooking, so I can just uh, now clean as I as I cook. See, so you can see what I'm doing. So as I cook, I tidy up. So in the end, you don't have to do much washing to me. This is yeah, ideally. No matter how many dishes, I'm, all, I'm only cooking two dishes today. So I'm gonna I've got some leftover uh, uh, kejam from uh, a couple of days ago. I just realized I had it. <laughs> I've forgotten. So just tidying up, tidying up. It's always. As a professional chef, it is uh, imperative, and I guess uh, I think it is uh, it helps if you're a housewife or hobby chef. You know, you don't want to be, you know, you don't want to find yourself up having a nice uh, wine and beer, sake, having a beautiful dinner, and then you have all the uh, you know heaps of uh, washing to do, washings to do. See, see, not much to do. See, not much washing to do. See. See now, as you can see, the daikon is just uh, just above the water. See, so I put this in, and it cooks. It's like a it's like a steaming effect. And there's a room here. See, the, the vapor just keep coming up, so uh, just constantly thickening. So it'll be the broth will be thickening as it cooks. That's okay, going well. This one is going well too. Taki awase, gumbo, deep fried tofu, uh, sun dried shiitake, and white turnips in shojin stock, kelp and shiitake itself. Soaked overnight. That's it. So simple, so healthy. It's a cooking time, less than half an hour. I get to eat and enjoy my sake. This is my weekend. So relaxed, listen to the jazz. Yeah, big red fridge. One, two, three parts. This is freezer. And this is where we store the vegetables that mom keeps all these bottles, bottles. This is supposed to, where we're supposed to keep the vegetables. <laughs> That's my mother's. This is actually mother's fridge. But I bought it for for use to to make you know, for my cooking class. This is my cooking class. For a no longer of a cooking classes. Only online. Only online. Yesterday I just uh, I just had my first uh, summer noodle workshop as I said so just add a little bit of water now yeah. getting ready for my sake I'm gonna heat up my sake today it's it's quite uh, it's getting cooler it's nice to have warm sake warm sake oh warm oh I finished. It's empty. Maybe it took me two years to finish this big bottle. Uh, summertime, I don't drink sake. I prefer to have cold beer. Yes, cold beer. Summer. Only winter time I have. I enjoy sake. Warm sake. Yes. Only winter time. Oh. oh, so good. The smell of yuzu is just amazing. I love this. I even named my name, my website, name, yuzu. My website has a name, yuzu.
because I like it so much. I think it is a must in winter Japanese cuisine. Yes, it's a must. So I chopped quite a lot. Oh, it's nice. Wouldn't it be nice to have it in my bathtub? Hot, hot bath? Onsen? Yuzu onsen! In my bath tonight. Uh, oh, I think I talked too much <laughs> and it just boiled up, boiled over. Broth is almost gone. Never mind, I can add, uh, I can add stock. I have a backup. Yeah, always, always backup. Shoujin. Why not? Just add, yeah, add some shoujin stock to my fish. This is two tablespoons sugar, just a little while, uh, a little bit of sugar here, just one, one went in, there's the uh, The white turnips is soft. No. Too much. Too much fire. Too strong. <laughs> I talk too much. Just did that I just add a little bit more water. Okay. And soy sauce I need. Mm. The daikon looks so good. See the color. So sauce. Now one, two. I put two uh, two spoon two tablespoons of uh, sugar to my buri daikon uh, fish and uh, white rice the kingfish buri so same amount of uh, soy sauce went in I put in I added. to my tofu, tofu dish. I like sake in my cooking. And so, soy sauce, no. One, one tablespoon. So it's a, it's a very similar taste, basically sugar and soy sauce. That's it, very simple, very simple and basic. Very simple and basic. Balance of salt, 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 the buri, the buri are the season. The buri are the king of the winter. Ocean. There's a place called Himi, it's actually a port, port town, uh, port town in Toyama prefecture where they catch uh, natural wild buri. They are bigger than eight kilograms. Uh, about 10 years ago, I bought one uh, big buri, kingfish, weighing eight kilograms. And I put all my chopping board over here, boom, 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 and put and filleted it, filleted it. And made uh, five different dishes from one fish. Sashimi, braised booty daikon like that. And also I, I, I grilled, grilled the, you know, the head. 
good. And also, I put some other pickle dishes. Mm. And in two days, we had 30 people. That was enough to feed 30 people. Five course, four course, dirty dinner. I think some of you may remember, might remember. Yeah. I'm sure it was a big fish, but we ate it all. <laughs> Whoa! This is my my chef finger. Iron chef. Oh, so good. Yes. The, the taste, the taste of winter. The taste of buri, the kingfish. So tasty. And now it's uh, cooking, cooking the, the daikon. It's just infusing. And it's it actually, it is best to eat it tomorrow because so that the daikon soaks up all the flavor as it cools off. But I'll have some today. Oh, this is going well. This is going well. As well. Yeah. So these are all transparent. See? So this one may be a little bit hard here. It's okay. It's only uh, quite rubbish. It's just coming, falling apart now. Done. If I cook more, the white, white turnips will fall apart, see? Yeah. I didn't trim it. No, it's my cooking. When I, when I cook this dish for my customers, I, I trim, I trim this nicely. So it won't uh, fall apart. Okay. Daikon is looking good, see? It's like a amber, amber color. It's a little bit drizzle, a little bit more social. Ah, empty. I empty the all social. Somebody has lots. Looking good, looking good. Just just good until the broth is almost gone. This is done. Oh, not quite yet. There's one thing I forgot to do. Just cook it. The green. Put green. Again, normally I I I branch this separately in salted water. But this is my weekend cooking. Simple and easy. Simple and easy. Just chuck it all in. This is actually, I've been using this for my tempura. For our soba noodle, for our customers who come to my soba noodle restaurant. So just a uh, shortcut. A shortcut. Normally I cook it, I blanch it separately and then add to it as I arrange this dish. But it's okay. It's me cooking, it's me eating. That's it, done. Simple. Done. Chrysanthemum leaves. Shungik chrysanthemum leaves. Garland chrysanthemum. No, I think it's okay. done. This is done too. There you go. I'm gonna arrange this. Hang on. That's important, that's important. Just keep it nice and hot. Yep, keep it nice and hot. Like that. 
big one. My friend in the winter time. My friend in the winter time. Yeah, big one. Put that on. <coughs> Where is that? So you don't overflow. This is amazing. You know, if you just put it in there, it will not over overflow. Oops. This is this is a good thing. This. You know, if you just pour it in, it'll it'll you know nine out of ten times it'll overflow. But with this stick in there, this fills up right in there, right there. Just fills up right there with that. With that overflowing them. See, it's there. It's a very good thing to have to uh, to uh, pour sake into the uh, into the uh, sake sake jar. Atsukan to make atsukan. Cheers, everyone. I'm going to have a little bit of a sake tonight. Warming up the plate. Oh, the sake is ready. See, this is a sign. It just swells up. It was about eighth level, but it just swells up to the almost the uh, the full flow over. And it is a little bit, uh, as you can see, there's a little bit of small bubble comes up. That's it. That's it. Little tiny, tiny bubble comes up. And that's when it's hot, and but not too hot. But the bubble, when the bubble becomes bigger, bigger than that, Maybe about two millimeter. That's big in diameter. That's too big. Then it's it's awfully, awfully hot, boiling hot. So customers might complain if you over over overheat the uh, the sake. Let's have a taste. Amazing grace. How sweet my sake, God save a wretch like me. I, I need to drink a little bit more to sing well. Cheers, everyone. I can sing better after this. Mm. So good. One more dish. There, yeah, one more plate. Okay. Don't worry everyone, I'm going to edit this. I'm getting I'm getting better better. I'm getting better. Uh, I'm I'm getting day by day I'm getting good at editing. No, this one. Just bend over. Lower, lower, yes. Thank you. Thank you, tripod. Put it here. Selfie, selfie, selfies, selfies, just uh, not good, not good. Hey. Buri daikon, buri daikon, buri buri daikon, buri daikon, buri 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 daikon. Buri daikon. Yes, so daikon is so tasty now. Look at this, the color, the amber, amber. Amber, amber, amber color. It is the amber. See? Amber. Amber. See, that one is now amber color. Lots of yuzu. Yes. Yes. Who doesn't want to have sake with this? No one. Anyone? Would love sucking with this. 
I'm confident. I'm confident. Yeah. I'm a Japanese chef. Super chef. <laughs> but I make these simple, simple, tasty dishes as well. Two, 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 I can have two. Yeah, why not? Why not? I can have two. I'm so hungry. Uh, maybe just, maybe just one, not two. And a couple of shiitake. So just put garlic and chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. Some green, green, green. Some green, green, green grass. And the broth. Yeah, beautiful. And again, yuzu, mustard yuzu on everything in the winter time. <laughs> in soup. Here we go. So this dish, two, two dishes whipped up in uh, just about half an hour. Um, you know, if I don't talk too much, it'll be much, much quicker. I could make it within 20 minutes, two dishes. Yep. All right then, everyone. So let's have dinner. Let's have dinner together.